Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jimena and today I want to welcome you on this tour around the climate of the United States. So today we're going to be talking about a state that's best known for its Civil War history as well as its scenic views, West Virginia. So in West Virginia, summers are long and humid. The average temperature being around 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Their winters are white as snow with the average being a low of 22 degrees Fahrenheit. The state receives approximately 31 days of snow per year. The accumulation of snow varies between 20 inches in the Western sections to more than 50 inches in the higher mountains. Yes, bro. The highest temperature ever recorded in the state was 112 degrees Fahrenheit in Martinsburg in July 1936, while the lowest temperature recorded was negative 37 degrees Fahrenheit in Lewisburg on December 1917. So how would changing climate affect the state? While all states are prone to floods, for one reason or another, West Virginia wins the prize for the most flood prone state in the United States. While most people can agree that flooding has always been bad, even those who grew up in West Virginia claim that present day flooding is worse than ever before. Communities located in the riverfront area are at the highest risk. Currently, the Army Corps of Engineers operates dozens of dams and reservoirs in an effort to control this flooding. However, in recent decades, the state has had to declare a flood-related state of emergency almost every year, most often associated with heavy rainstorms, which result in mud and landslides. So, some ecological effects. Rising temperatures are helping invasive species to move to areas which were once too cold for them to survive. The warm temperatures are also leading to an increase in deer populations, which leads to loss of underbush and through a series of cause and effect loop, throws the ecosystem out of balance. Additionally, a report was posted by a research group called Climate Central, which details the ways in which mosquito-borne diseases are on the rise. So what does the government think about this? As many of us have heard, according to the IPCC report, keeping our warming below the 2.7 degrees mark is essential. One of the ways it suggests to do so is by reducing the greenhouse gas emissions. Carbon is the most intensive source of fuel for producing electricity. One of the states that would be most impacted by this change is West Virginia, seeing as it is the, currently the second largest producer of coal in the U.S. In fact, in 2017, they sourced 93% of their own electricity from coal-fired power plants. The state has the potential to play a role in mitigating climate change, but the ongoing transition away from coal has been difficult. The state has other natural resources that they could exploit, such as their mountain ridges, which have a strong potential for wind turbines, and their geothermal potential. The state of West Virginia does not currently have a climate action plan, but due to the size of their coal industry being their primary source of fuel, their reduction would be extremely beneficial. Though it may seem that the term climate change has been thrown around and highly confused with weather, it's important to note that the biggest difference is their timeline. While weather looks at the day-to-day -day phenomena, climate change looks at the average 30-year trend. So while California is experiencing the consequences of extreme drought, annual precipitation in West Virginia has continued to increase throughout the first half of the 20th century. In fact, precipitation from extremely heavy storms in the eastern United States has increased by more than 25% since 1958. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that I have taught you something. If you live in West Virginia or have ever visited, let me know your thoughts. Also, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Now, before I let you go, we're going to pick the next state. So, here's my bag of great states. All right, so the next state that we're going to be talking about is Michigan. So don't forget to hug a tree and I'll see you guys next time.